In this video, I will provide you with the most common reason, in my opinion at least, that uh, concrete stairs can actually sink into the ground. Not uncommon to have a crack running all the way across the area where it's the back of the tread, the bottom of the riser, and then it settles into the ground. At the bottom, it creates problems for the sidewalk. So the stairway could actually sink and then reduce the height of the riser by an inch or two and uh, could create a problem, a safety problem for the stairway. Now, I want to start out by showing you what the stairway looks like. And then we are going to take it apart. And then we are going to put it back together. A lot of times it's better for the viewers, people learning, to get an idea of what it looks like um, before we just start with something like this. What are we doing here? And of course, these are the footings for the porch walls or the guardrail walls for the stairway. And this right here is going to create a container for our fill materials. And the fill materials will be the reason why your stairway is cracking or sinking into the ground because somebody just filled it up with some soil they dug out of the backyard or took from a neighbor's house. And when in reality, it'll be a good idea to use a compacted fill material like gravel. Now, I'm not suggesting that all gravel is going to um, solve your problems. But according to most of the information I've gathered over the years, three quarter inch gravel is supposed to be 100% compacted. But that doesn't mean you're not going to have a problem if the materials underneath the gravel, if the soil underneath the gravel wasn't compacted, then um, you could still have a problem. There are a lot of problems you could have from this. You could start with soil that is wet, clay soil, and it's expanded. And then you use your um, gravel fill in here. And then the soil, the moisture goes, um, drains out of the soil and then causes the expanded soil to shrink. And then the soil, I mean, the, the fill material drops. So you're not always going to be able to um, create the perfect situation or you're going to have to spend a few more dollars to create the perfect situation or a situation where it's going to be um, highly probable that the stairway is going to um, last forever and not crack. So just keep that in mind also. And if you do have a problem like this and you remove the stairway to replace it, don't bring any dirt in. You know, start, you already have soil that's been compacting for 10 or 20 or 50 years. Bring in some compacted material so that you can use that. And uh, again, your stairway might have lasted 20 years before it started to have a problem with it. You know, hope you're hoping just to get another 20 or 30 years out of it. So the more material that you need to bring in, for example, if I only have two steps going up to the porch, this might not be as big of a problem. If I have 10 steps going up to a porch and the fill material here is 50 to 60 inches, then this is more um, materials that need to compact somehow if it isn't already compacted. So this is going to be the starting point of the problem. We have a nice, um, we don't have any gaps here, but here we do. This would be a situation to where the soil has somehow um, started to either erode, compact, settle, and create gaps at the top. And it's not uncommon to have a porch that you don't have any problems with. Your stairway might be sinking two inches at the top here, and the porch is straight, and you're like, wait a minute. So there, there might not be any soil eroding from that. Um, or very little, or you have a solid concrete slab with rebar in it, um, something like that, that is preventing it from settling. So you might actually have hollow spots underneath it. 
It just hasn't caved in yet, and it might not ever. So you have a situation like this. Soil erodes a little bit from underneath the stairway. Um, all over, even at the very bottom, it's going to sink. And when it does, it's going to separate from the porch or the deck, whatever you have there, and crack. And of course, leave a safety problem by having a taller riser. We might have a seven inch riser here and an eight inch riser here. And I understand, you know, when you have a situation like this, you know, it's like, do I just come in and replace everything? You know, I can't provide you with that answer. Um, from a safety perspective, yes. You know, it'd be nice to have the, all the stairs equal in the riser heights and in the tread depth. But that's not always going to be the case. You know, you might have to spend money fixing your plumbing. This might not be a priority. But I can tell you this. If you do have a situation like this, wouldn't be a bad idea to install some type of a filler in the gaps here. And that would include any gaps on the side. Just make sure that you're not trapping any water somewhere. Sometimes people go in and they fill um, little holes or gaps between um, a wall and a stairway, something like that. And it creates a problem for water to drain away from the materials in the walls. And that would be more or less if you have a situation where you have a framed wall with stucco or siding. You know, if it's all concrete, you have concrete block or concrete walls, a concrete stairway, you're, you're only going to be sealing these areas to prevent water from getting into these gaps and uh, accelerating the soil compaction or settling process. So the water gets in here. It goes through the stairway underneath and it will actually um, erode, take some of the soil away from underneath the stairway, or it will um, continue to cause the soil to settle, kind of like as it's compacting the soil. And uh, that'll create larger gaps underneath the stairs, causing it to sink even further. So good idea to fill some of these cracks as long as you're not creating a safety problem. If you have a crack that's running down the middle of the stairway and you're going to put some spackle in it or something and uh, you know it creates a safety problem for someone using the stairs, you're defeating the purpose. Leave it, uh, leave it alone until you can replace the stairway. So just seal the areas where you're not going to create a safety problem or a um, problem with the building um, drainage, um, I should say. So that's about it for this video. Hope uh, by now you have uh, figured out what could be the reason why your concrete stairs are sinking.